Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. The channel is Dev Chanel's 40s World. Welcome, 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 whether you're reviewing this video in the morning, afternoon, or the evening, okay? It doesn't matter, because I'm loving that you're here, okay? But we're going to be quickly talking about NeNe Leakes and Bethany Frankel and why everybody likes everybody but NeNe, okay? I mean, come on, let's, let's just call a thing a thing, all right? NeNe, you're toxic. You're very toxic. You've been toxic for a very, very long time. Okay, and we're trying to understand just where the hell are you coming from? We don't understand. Maybe if you could shed some light on some serious things, then we can understand the thing. But no, Nene, you can't win while you play dirty. That was your own word being tossed back in front of your own face. Okay, you can't win when you're messing with a married man. And there's, there's no way around it nowhere around it and we can't keep giving you passes all right you even threw greg out or threw him to the wind when he wasn't getting better i mean he was having he had cancer he had cancer you wanted people to feel sorry for you because you were the caregiver girl for better or worse for sicker or poor or rich or poor you know sickness and health those vows you made so long ago and you recently renewed them with him remarried him and you still treated him like shit Okay, then let's talk about Wendy Williams, okay? You dogged her out because you felt in your way, no no evidence proving uh, to the such, but you felt she stopped you or her husband, Kevin, stopped you from having your own talk show. Okay, and it's just too much. And then you, you talk about Wendy real bad, then you go talk about Andy, then you sue the, the show that you're on plus him. Okay, and then you're trying to figure out why you didn't get the reward or you felt you did uh, so much to have received a prestigious reward such as that. But did you forget that you saw everybody around him? You did, you do realize what you did, right? And you, you realize what you said about Kim and keeping it low but spreading it out high and wide. Kim says she's going to get you too on a uh, defamation of defamation of character suit. I don't know how she's serious. Is she serious? She's probably just going to wait and see if you win the case against Bravo. And then she's going to come out with her own lawsuit against you. Okay. Make it make sense, girl. Make it make sense. We can't. Okay. That's why we keep on watching and looking, watching and looking, hoping you would uh, fly right just straighten up and fly right but no 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 you had the real housewives of Atlanta in the palm of your hands it offered you so many different avenues including being illuminated but i don't even know if they want you now nene they probably don't even want you you just thrown out like uh yesterday's trash child but I just can't believe you're going around him trying to speak your piece about the MTV crowning award that Bethany Frankel received. And you felt you did more than she did. Well, uh, I don't think Bethany going around him suing nobody either, Nene. I don't believe she's going around him uh, dragging her castmates for filth. And I mean, every last one of them. Because you definitely did that with your castmates here on uh, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, girl. And some of the heavy hitter bloggers, you you say things about them. Did you remember the man allegedly you had punched out his teeth, ripped his shirt because he went into your closet? Okay, mm, not a good look, not a good look. And you still confess that you didn't do anything. But uh, we know as far as Kim Lyles, we're going to speak it out. Some deals were made, okay? Some deals were made. Uh, then, you know, you, you don't treat Sheree, what the shit, you talk about her, you 
about every last cast member that was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, even when it's like a last supper for you, because you felt nobody was understanding, receiving your um, plight of just really whining. You had a very good friendship with Cynthia. You you tarnished that. Uh, you, you ran its course. I mean, you really don't have any friends is what I'm saying. Any No friends, just a lot of foes. And it's warranted that they are your foes because you treat them like shit. You really, really do, girl. That's why I'm like, you, you, you trying to do something else. You just been negative, and then you know you got oh Apollo and his uh I don't know. We just gonna say girlfriend because they've been so uh it's been a long time. They should have been married. So I don't think he's gonna be marrying her, or she don't want to marry him. But you talked about every line. That ain't good for you having a relationship with Pedro. How you gonna side over with Apollo? Well, you know how Apollo did her, but she still Apollo did her. We still out with that uh, uh that um conclusion of what that may have transpired with between them two. Okay, but yes, you like keeping up with the Joneses. I think you even said you are the Joneses. I, I don't know. I don't know. You got into it with Portia and, and you were going back and forth with her and then you had to come back. Y'all mended things, I'm guessing. Then you know you you I'm with Kenya and you tried to spit on Kenya or you made a motion to spit on her. You're constantly talking about, you know, Cynthia real bad when anybody asks you about anything. Marlo, you're mad at her because she's in your place of where you want to be, even though you said you helped her a lot. And Marlo did say you helped her a lot, but you still dog Marlo out, okay? And I just don't see the same thing for Bethany. She has that skinny uh, product she's selling to the masses. It comes in uh, liquor form. It comes in uh, popcorn form. It's just a lot. She's a businesswoman. And, you know, she she had a lot of hits, but she ain't come out for people like you have come out for people, Nene. No, no, no. She's a different breed. Okay, we're going to talk about privilege because we all know about privilege. We all know about discrimination. We know all about racism and how the melanated people up or down. Okay, and we still rise. That's, <laughs> that's why I say we put us down, but we still rise. But girl, you, you, you're doing too, 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 too much. You ain't you bloop on you because you're just, uh, it's too much, Nanny. It's too much. And then you're going to begrudge Bethany. She's on the Forbes. She's on the Forbes list, girl. So you know she got ka ching, ching, ching. Okay? Ka ching, a ling, a ling. Like going through the bills. Like dollar, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Dollar, 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 dollar bills, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. She can make it rain for a very long time. She got deep pockets. E pockets, okay? And then you on short pocket money. You on short pocket money to be almost no pocket money. Okay? Ooh, but yet you got you gotta say something negative just about everybody you come in contact with or they have a relationship with you, somehow it goes south. It's just too much. And I can't believe you think Beverly I mean, um Three Housewives franchise is gonna give you any type of award when litigation is going on, girl. I mean, you even dogged out your husband, okay? You want everybody to feel sorry for you because you felt Greg was treating you so wrong, so inhumane, and none of it was founded. No, we saw no proof of that. Nothing. And then you want to, ugh, then you're too much, you're too much. And then you're going around here still flaunting this married man. How in the public, in the court of public opinion, you told Nene you're negative. Ain't nobody's going to try to help you because you ain't trying to help yourself, okay? And like I said, you don't fell out with all these people uh, that you had come in contact with or the ones you didn't come in contact with, say, Drew, Sedora, and uh, Sanya, and I think that was it, or Latoya when she was on the show. You would have problems with them. But, you know, lo and behold, you ain't get a chance to mix and mingle with them on the show. So that was a good thing. But let's go on into the Jasmine brand. We're citing our sources, as Kim Pyre likes to say. <laughs> oh, the other brother. Y'all go over there watch him. He's always doing commentary each and every day. That's what he does for a living. So support the brother. Support the brother. Okay, we're going into uh, the Jasmine brand commentary. She titled it. Uh, it was written by Kay Johnson, okay? And she titled it, Nene Leak says, <coughs> I have a lot of highs and lows while discussing life without leaving. Husband Greg leaks, 
and reacts to MTV Crowning, Real Housewives of New York, Bethany Frankel, uh, the reality queen. She definitely didn't do as much as I did. You're right about that, Nene. She didn't uh, score hits. She didn't take hits out on people. Yes, ma'am. She didn't do that. And this is what you're doing going around here. Where's my phone not moving? Okay, hold on. Oh, Lord. Nay, 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 nay. What can we say about you, girl? We can't say anything positive because you're not doing anything positive out there that warrants us to say anything good about you, nay, nay. Uh, You're like a Travis type of situation right about now. Because uh, you, you're just doing too much. You're just doing too much, nay, nay. Oh, Lord, I tell you, you're just doing too much. And you don't even see it. It's almost like you don't see the forest for the trees, baby girl. Ah, uh, but we got to we got to say, you know, you, you wasn't doing shit, you ain't shit, and you probably won't be shit later on because you can't win in your favorite words when you play dirty. And that's just where it is, Nene. That's just the way it is, okay? Um Let me see. It goes reality star Nene Leaks is speaking on losing her husband, her college year reboot experience, and losing MTV's Reality Royalty Queen Award, okay? And they probably just threw it in your face. They probably made up that award just to get on your nerves, Nene, okay? You have no accolades to them. They, they throw you to the wind, crush you to the wind, and you're just out there blowing here, there, and everywhere. That was my commentary, not in the article. Okay, going back to the article, it said, during a recent interview, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, that meaning veteran kept it real about life as of late. Nina Leakes 54 says, though she had a great time filming BET College Hill, she was uh, she was initially hesitant. No, you weren't hesitant, Nina. You had to come get every kind of coin you could get to stay in the lap of luxury that you require, okay? Uh, yeah, you won't, you, you're hitting rock bottom pretty much because you don't alienate a lot of people from you. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, uh, according to the TV star, the reality series began <clears throat> production shortly after losing her partner, Greg Leakes, after 24 years together. Greg transitioned back in October of the last year at the age of 66, old after losing his battle uh, with lung cancer. Okay, speaking on why she chose to join Celebrity Re Reboot, Nene stated, well, you know, I had just lost my husband a few months before I moved into the house, and uh, I was a little uneasy about if I should get back into reality TV or not, but I wanted uh, to kind of get my feet wet again because I had stopped doing reality uh, for a moment. This was a great experience. Um, media personality starred as a staple cast member on The Real Housewives of Atlanta for seven seasons straight before announcing her exit exit ahead of season eight. Nene returned to the iconic series for season 11 and 12, subsequently leaving again. The actress is currently suing her former employer, Bravo, for alleged fostering a racist work environment. Continuing the interview asked Nene sincerely how she's dealing with the passing of her husband in the public eye, to which she responded. And that's my sidebar. She shouldn't say shit because we're going to just say, oh, so you was cheating on Greg or you was... Uh, being fooling with this married woman's husband uh, while before Greg left the world. And uh, now you think we still supposed to feel sorry for you. No, it would have been better if you would have stayed single. We probably would have had a little bit more concern for you. We would have had a little bit more concern for you if you would have been at the top of your uh, game, and then you came out with this lawsuit. You know, you, you hadn't infracted it, you know, and, and you haven't did anything to the network from what we do, you know what I'm saying? And you were seeing things that just weren't right, and you still given opportunities. You see what I'm saying? Like, handle things behind closed doors, type of situation. You probably would have felt, uh, fared real well, but you didn't do any of that. You put everything on Front Street, uh, you had lost all your jobs, your positions, or what you felt you should have had, because of this lawsuit, and, and you think a lot of people are supposed to be feeling sorry for you, well, let me ask you, do uh, your married um, scammer man, Shaba, yes, him, do you, uh, did you talk with his wife about what you're doing to her in the public, 
and you think we're supposed to feel sorry for you, then you get the hell out of here, girl. Get the hell out of here. But anyway, continuing the interview, asked Nene Cecilia how she's dealing with the passing of Greg, to which she responded, I have a lot of high and lows. You know, it's a lot. I think that when people see you functioning, that um, they think that you're okay and you don't need anybody, but still very much in need. No, you ain't in much in need. But I'm still read on what she said. It hasn't been a full year yet. I've been through a lot of transition over the last year, but I have a great support system and around me. Yeah, yeah, Nene, but you just say you don't have no support, okay? So I guess uh, uh Scott. <laughs> shabba man, the scammer, shabba, 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 it's up you are, girl, that's what you're trying to say, get all the bricks passing and all the woes that you're going through, is that what you're trying to tell the masses, me, me, not in the article, just my sidebar, um, as the interview reminded her, Nene had also has the support of her millions of fans, 4.2 million, or which follower, well, which follows her on Instagram, Oh, yes, Nene, Nene, those followers, uh, they're kind of mixed emotional because a lot of people don't like what you're doing. They can't even take a look because the optics that you're giving us in real time is not a good look. Not a good look, even for the naysayers, okay? We're going back to the article, it said, after being asked about how she reacted to fans asking why MTV snuffed her for their uh, newest award, unscripted reality royalty queen, which was ultimately given to Real Housewives of New York, star Bethany Frankel. Nene said, I mean, I don't know. You know, Bethany definitely did a lot of uh, great things in New York City for that franchise. Just keeping it real, she definitely didn't do as much as I did. That's for real. <laughs> Nene. Hey, girl. Well, I'm pretty sure that you do know Bethany never put out a lawsuit on her employer either and then expect them to still reward her uh, graciously. No, 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 no. That's not how it goes. Nene. But y'all get down in those comments. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about the situation with Nene um, saying things that's really out the side of her neck. I mean, she can't win in Atlanta, she can't win in Miami, uh, she can't win uh, in New York, but yes, yeah, she got a lot to say about each and every one of her castmates and um, franchisees, you know, how you just, you know, really like another show, other franchise and the people on that show, you know, it played her well when she was in good graces, okay, because she was trying to be around all the white folks, it's really what Nene was doing, and trying to sh uh, scuttle away from her black people, okay, so it just, it's tit for tat, it's uh, yin and yang, it's pros and cons, but Nene it has it all boils down to, is your attitude, your attitude depicts your altitude, did y'all like how I said that, oh, your attitude, depicts your altitude. All right, y'all remember that because I just thought that up on the spur of the moment. Oh. But anyway, y'all get down on those comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about it. Remember to continue to keep subscribing to the channel, sharing my videos, liking and commenting. Okay, and I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.